another LEGO bootleg knockoff review thingy. Today we're looking at two sets from XINH based on DC Comics. On the left hand side there we have eight figures from set number X0227 containing figures 1017 all the way to 1024. And on the right hand side we have eight figures from X0238 containing figures 1111 all the way to 1118. We have Bane, the Riddler, Scarecrow, the Joker from the Joker movie, Poison Ivy, Penguin with articulated short legs, Batgirl and Red Hood with a armored helmet that's taken from the Iron Man figures. On the right hand side we have Talon, Constantine which I think is the TV version, another Poison Ivy, Killer Frost TV version, Harley Quinn, one of the movie versions, Batman in this armor, Black Suit Superman and the BVS Nightmare Batman figure. All these figures come with a mini figure plate, just like real Lego. He's uh, Bane's got a bit of dynamite. Nothing for the Riddler here. Single claw for Scarecrow. A golden pistol for the Joker. Bat blade for her, and this really flimsy cape, which just really sucks. Why? Short umbrella for the Penguin, and a bit of I guess Ivy fine piece thing for Poison Ivy. Two pistols. A silver baseball bat with a printing on it that looks like it's just patched together. Bat Blade, Gold Claws and Katana Pack, nothing for him, a huge vine ivy thing, plant thing, base for her, all of these are slightly articulated, that's awesome, you can do a lot with that. Nothing for Superman but a pretty decent cape, shiny one side fairy on the other. My Batman's missing out but he does come with a gun just like the actual Lego build I believe, with a printed Joker's arm in it, and these two sort of hand punchy things for Killer Frost. So much of the Batman villains here are based on Arkham Asylum, at least they look to be. I recognize how Poison Ivy has her shirt sort of tied up. And you know, this sort of claw scarecrow is from that as well as this Riddler. So I just sort of recognize them from the game. This one, I'm not particularly sure if it's like, you know, Arkham Knight Red Hood or just regular Red Hood. It's been a while since I played that game. It wasn't as good as the first two. So I, I don't remember too much, but I'm just gonna assume that everything from here is going to be based something related to the Arkham games. Uh, not bad, not bad girl though, of course, because she's also um, she's at the Oracle in those games. But anyway, uh, all of these are pad printed. The printed details on them are pretty decent for the most part. I will say that Bane looks a little bit tacky with the skin color on the top there, because it's printed on the side and the front, and then just around the top there, it just becomes black. It's a little bit awkward. The design on Riddler's body there is a bit too simplified. But the rest of them look okay. My favorite is this Riddler face. It, it's quite unique. It looks... This face also kind of reminds me of what David Tennant would look like if he was the Riddler because that was like a fan choice cast for, for a while for The Dark Knight Rises before we knew what film and garbage that was going to turn out to be. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. The Joker here, I'm just going to bring in the KOPF Joker. I will say that I actually prefer the head and hair piece from this one because it's just looks more like it does in the movie, but in terms of actual detailing, the suit here is much more detailed than the KLPF one because um, around the shirt there, there's actually a lot of printed detail on the green part, some sort of decoration, some lining. It's pretty cool. Take a quick look at these figures with all the headgear removed. Red Hood just has his helmet pattern printed on a mini figure head, but still keeping some of the black details around the side. So if you don't want that big bulky Iron Man helmet, you've got the option here. And if you do want a face underneath, there has been other mini figures of Red Hood where you take the helmet off and it's just like a regular face underneath, so you can just do that. Batgirl's face a bit boring, average. The Penguin face, we've seen that before. Poison Ivy is a little bit different because it matches her body design. So she's got some of the veins going up her cheeks. And then the rest of the heads are also pretty decent. The side printing here, now Bane, his arm on one side is different from the other. because he's been, He has a bit of his venom tubes on the other side. Scarecrow also has a different arm pattern on the other side. But then we look at someone like Batgirl and it's a little bit disappointing because they didn't print any side printing whatsoever and it is a bit distracting from the black outline on the front that just disappears around the side. Good look at the back here, uh, very detailed these two, question mark is pretty good, these get the job done, but uh, the Batgirl one just looks a bit, just not printed too well, the line's a bit too thick, she is so far the worst figure out of this lot. Penguin here also has this uh, fabric piece for his coat or jacket and mine actually came with two pieces so yay bonus. Our next set here we have um, 
a few of these characters based on the TV version. You've got Constantine and Killer Frost there. This is from the CW crossover Elseworlds from last year, so 2018's crossover. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I did have and did review the regular Superman suit from the TV show, so I'm just gonna go back and look through, through my piles and piles of uh, minifigures and see if I have that, because if I don't, I'm gonna go and track it down because I know that's definitely a figure that has been released and this is just the black version of that. So the rest of these figures are all printed pretty decently. Uh, the Batman figure is based on the actual Lego minifigure version that I also reviewed the official one because it came in a small sort of battle pack, so it's really good, awesome, very easy to get and uh, I actually do recommend the actual version a lot more on this one because this is not printed as well as the official one it just seems a little bit faded the colors aren't as bright and of course mine is missing an arm but you know quality control on that um, if you're lucky enough and yours is not missing an arm it's a decent enough figure but the official one is easy and cheap to get you might as well get the official one a quick look underneath their mask, you can see that uh, this head's pretty cool. This head's just like the official one, but uh, I will say so far that this Poison Ivy is really boring. It's based on one of the first ever releases of Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy here is based on the 2018 current like release of LEGO minifigures. And yeah, I think this one's also based on official LEGO. And this Harley Quinn here is based on the current sort of LEGO releases of her. And so overall this set we have a mix of TV stuff and a mix of stuff that's based on official LEGO. Look inside here, not too many of these figures have any side printing. Uh, so we pretty much have just these three figures here. And of course with her, she's going to be different because she has different colored sleeves on the inside, as well as different colored pants. Quick look on the back, we can see uh, with the TV stuff, the suit designs are pretty basic. They are just there to serve their purpose, better than not having any print. The best one here is probably John Constantine with the uh, whole suit design pattern printed down there. By the way, none of these figures have any dual model parts at all, so the print and coloring does cut off when you pose the figure under a certain angle. There you go, a pretty decent mix of DC figures, some TV, some video game, and some based on the official LEGO minifigures. Since uh, there's a lot more Marvel stuff than DC, same goes with the knockoffs. Oh well, uh, still I am glad that the TV version of these character collections are growing bigger. While I have read a lot of DC stuff, I've mostly read uh, Batman comics and crossover like Justice League or Batman Superman or the outside crossovers with versus alien predators and all that so a lot of my definitive versions in my eyes would be the tv versions like that's the one i know the most uh, including the original animated series and you know justice league cartoons but i've grown to like the tv versions a lot so i'm glad that that collection of minifigures is still growing a bit by bit we're gonna got three figures here but bit bit by bit we're gonna get more of them and i think that that's great and as always, the fact that an HD plastic quality is pretty decent. The clutch is actually really good with these two lots. I've noticed that it's very easy to remove the hats or helmets away from the heads. That's great. Makes it easy to customize and pose and do all that stuff. Next up, the print quality is, as always, pretty excellent. The designs, however, do leave a little bit to be desired, but they're not the best designs I've seen from DC or Marvel, but these still get the job done, I suppose. Subscribe to Justin Carpelon and cause take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.